In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your uh, WP listings listing look like a single listing site with its own domain name. Uh, this will use the uh, one of the premium listing templates that we have available for sale on agentevolution.com. Uh, we're going to be using this site here, John Smith's blog, and here's our single listing. Let's go back to the dashboard for this site for John Smith's blog. And we're going to go in the dashboard to listings. Now this does require that you have the WP listings plugin installed. This is a free plugin. Install it. Add your listings. Uh, we've got several listings that we've added here. We're going to be working with this one here, 846 Stony Brook Way. And that's the one we see on the front. And this is using the default template that comes with the plugin. We're going to first thing we're going to do is we're going to change this to one of our premium listing templates. So let's go back to the dashboard and we're going to select edit for this listing. Now if you don't have your uh, premium listing template installed yet, refer to the video on how to install those. They need to be updated to your theme directory. Um, you don't have to use one of my themes. These will work with just about any theme. It will work with just the default WordPress theme. So here's our listing. Um, <clears throat> and to the right, you'll see a meta box. It says single listing template. We're going to select one of these. Let's select uh, luxurious and update that. Now let's go back to the front of our site and we're going to refresh this listing so you can see what it looks like with that premium listing template. And there we go. You'll see now it's the same listing using the same plugin but it's using the premium listing template. So it displays like its own website. Okay. It looks like we've got a widget area here we need to clear a widget out of. So <clears throat> let's go to Appearance Widgets and clear that out. Okay, let's go back to our listing now. And let's refresh that. There we go. And see, there's our single listing um, with that premium listing template. Now you'll see the URL for that is my domain name for my WordPress website, uh, listings, which all your listings will be using this. It's a custom post type. And then the address, which was what we gave the title of this listing, will be part of that permalink. Now what we want to do now is we want to assign a separate domain name to that and make it look like it's on a separate domain even though it's on our webinar3.aelabs.com domain. So I have purchased a domain name at GoDaddy. I'm going to switch over to GoDaddy and it's 846stonybrook.info and GoDaddy offers for free uh, domain forwarding and domain forwarding masking. Some domain registrars charge extra for that. It just depends on your domain registrar. But GoDaddy is the easiest one to work with because it is free. Okay, so you'll see when you go into your domain details, you've got a section here under your name servers that says forwarding. So we're going to click on the link to manage that. Okay. And it says you're not forwarding this domain. Add one now. So we're going to do that. And we want this to forward to. And we want to forward to the URL for that listing that we had. So let's change tabs back to that. And here's the URL. So we're going to copy this. And go back to GoDaddy. And we're going to paste that in. We want to remove that HTTP because it's already there. Okay. Uh, redirect type, you want a 301. And under forward settings, the default is forward only. But we want to change that to forward with masking. Uh, the reason is that we want it to look like it's on this .info domain rather than our WordPress domain. So let's go ahead <clears throat> and add that. 
let's save. Okay, it's going to take a few minutes for that to take effect, so I'm going to pause and we'll come back as soon as that's propagated. Okay, that's now propagated. Um, so we're going to go to this domain that we just set up with forwarding with masking. So let's copy this and I'm going to open up a new tab and I'm just going to put it up here. Hit enter. And there we are. There's our listing that we created using the premium template and it looks like it's on it's on its own domain now. It's, the domain is 846stonybrook.info but in fact it's actually still that listing that's on webinar3.aelabs domain. It just because it's masked it looks like it's on its own domain. So it makes it really easy to set up single listing sites that aren't really single listing sites. They just look like it. Uh, you just use the different uh, the different premium templates we have, you know, we have a number of them that display them slightly differently. Maybe we want elegant instead. Let's change that to elegant and see how that looks. Let's refresh this. And see, there's the elegant one. So that's how you can set up um, your listing with a domain name with masking.